So I started off with a list of things. Initially directed at white people. But as I wrote, I began to realize that this is, not all of these are strictly for white people. So I titled it, hashtag dear white people, hashtag dear black people, hashtag dear everyone. Because in some cases, these things can cross boundaries and barriers. Seven things, so bear with me. Number one, if you only say nigga around other whites and refrain around others who are not white or not like you, then you are an unrealized, jealous racist hiding behind and misusing time and place. You want to be what you deep down actually hate because of what you've been taught. Let that sink in for a little bit. Good. Now, if you're still here, we'll move on. Number two. If you think being hood attributes to acting black, then you are a poser. Truly being hood is only real when life experience introduces it, not because you just want to be. Number three. If you start a sentence with, I'm not trying to be racist, but... You should not continue with that statement because your need for that buffer actually exposes you as the bigoted racist you actually are. Number four. If someone is mixed, they do not have to pick a side. Example. If someone is half black and half white, one does not cancel out the other. Yes, they are black. But also, yes, they are white. Essentially, they are blessed to have... Double the culture. If you disagree, then you're once again racist. Number five. Accepting someone by saying they are only technically their race or ethnicity, that is not true acceptance. It is a way for a lie to yourself to be comfortable so you can bear their existence and presence. Number six. Banning of certain hairstyles and or grooming standards for being too ethnic is just another way to propagate whitewashing of non-whites. And number seven, so bear with me. Throughout history and into modern day, braids and locks are just are not just a black thing. Many cultures have and still wear these hairstyles. Examples, Native Americans, Vikings, who are not all white by the way. Hispanics, and I could go on, etc. Although the reasons for these hairstyles and grooming standards may differ, it is never for cultural appropriation. My point, why would anyone want to look like something or someone they hate all the time or every day? Very different from racist display such as blackface. Any questions, comments, concerns, y'all know where to leave them. God bless. Blam.